Congratulations. Your offer was presented and the seller accepted. But hold up, if conditions aren't met, the deal could fall through, which takes us to step seven, fulfilling the conditions. I'm Sean Ryan with the Blue Coast team and let's dive into it. So what is a condition or a contingency? Basically, it's anything that needs to happen before the sale is considered final. The buyer and the seller both could have a list of conditions that need to be met. The two most common conditions though, include a home inspection and a financing condition. A financing condition means that the buyer needs to secure financing for the purchase within a set out period of time. The home inspection condition, it's pretty self-explanatory. The buyer wants to have the home inspected by a professional to ensure that there's no hidden defects or problems with the home. Other conditions could be an appraisal condition. That means having a third party appraiser evaluate the property and the home value. A lot of times that is required by the bank. Sometimes there's a title condition and make sure the people you're buying it from are actually the owners and make sure there's no judgments or liens on the property as well. Or you may include the sale of your home. That's a condition we see from time to time and your whole offer is conditional upon you being able to sell your current property. But not every offer needs to have conditions and foregoing conditions depending on the market could make your offer much more appealing. But don't worry, a Blue Coast Realtor will help guide you through the best course of action depending on your situation. So that was a taste of the most common conditions, but purchasing a home is not complete until the sale has been legally recorded and title has been transferred. And that takes us on the step eight where you get to meet with a lawyer. Thanks for watching. And remember to put Sean on your line.